my name is Elle and welcome back to Once Upon a Beauty Time. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my full coverage foundation routine for pale skin. So this has been very highly requested and I finally want to get around to showing you guys some of the things that I love to put on my face. Now I know my routine as such can be a little bit more extensive than what some people would like to use. This is just what I do. You don't have to follow it 100%. It's just the products that I love to use that will help to stay on my face for the longest period of time for my combo skin that has got a little bit of blemishes. I've got a lot of rosacea. I don't know if we'll be picking up on the camera at the moment because it is quite bright today. Um, but I have got a lot of discoloration in my skin. So I like to make sure that my face is all one color, that it's nice and matte to keep my oil at bay and just looking as flawless as possible. So if you'd like to find out my full coverage foundation routine for pale or fair skin, then please just keep on watching. The first step I'm going to do is spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus. Now, just to let you know, I have done my full skincare routine. If you would like to see a morning and or night skincare routine uh, specifically for combination skin, definitely let me know down in the comments because I'd be more than happy to do that sometime in the near future. But my first step of my makeup is spritzing my face with some of this guy. Now the reason that I do this is because uh, Fix Plus contains quite high levels of glycerin. And what glycerin does is it helps everything to stick to your face. And I'm just gonna let that settle in two more fives. Hopefully my hair doesn't go too fizzy from it. So the second step I'll be taking is to prime my face. Now, I use two primers. You don't have to use two. You could use one or you could use seven. That's totally up to you. The reason I use two is because they have two different kind of purposes. Uh, the first one that I've been absolutely loving is the Mecca Cosmetica Soft Focus Primer. This just helps to really smoothen out the face. It has like a, a moisturizer kind of feel to it. So it's not drying at all. So it's amazing for pretty much any skin type. But I really love it um, for my combo skin. And it does help with a little bit of oil control as well which is amazing. Now the second primer is a little bit of a recent discovery for me. I threw it in my cart when Australis had their online 50% off sale just because I was like what the hell why not just give it a go it's so cheap anyway. This is the Australis See You Later Pores primer and I freaking love this stuff. It has um, a kind of silicone type feel to it. It's a little bit skin tone colored as well. It reminds me of the Benefit Professional, but I absolutely hate that primer. Anything I put on top of it, I always find that it balls. So if you love the texture of that, but you don't like the finish of the um, Professional, definitely give this guy a go and it's a fraction of the price as well. And it's really good at oil control, this guy. So I love to pop this just where I need it, mainly on the T-zone. The next thing that I do is my foundation. Now I use a combination of two foundations. Now again, you don't really need to use two, but I do because in my head it lasts longer and I've trialed it without this like primer combination and just I don't know it just works best when you mix the two together but the first one I have is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in MW10 of course and then I have the Revlon Color Stay uh, in 110 Ivory and this formula is for the combination and oily skin type. Now both of these foundations actually contain SPF but I've never experienced flashback with either of them or even mixed together or on their own. So it means that it's perfect, especially as we're heading in to our Australian summer. Um, so it's going to keep your face nice and protected throughout the day, but it's something that you can take throughout the night. This sounds so excessive, but I do two pumps of each and I mix them together and I'll be applying it with my Real Techniques uh, complexion sponge uh, all over my face. Now that my foundation is done, I'm going to go in with concealer and again, I'm using using two different concealers. My Ride or Die combo is the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Fair, I believe, and then also the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. I love using the Maybelline one to help to conceal and kind of correct areas, um, and then I love using the NARS Chantilly to really brighten, add coverage, um, and just make me look 
a million dollars. It's beautiful. So I'm going to be using both of those. I like to go in with the Maybelline one first up. And then I go over the top with my NARS Creamy Concealer um, in anywhere that I want to highlight. So essentially it's over all of the places that I popped the uh, in Maybelline Concealer. And then I'm going to blend that out with again my damp uh, Real Technique sponge. And I do like to take a little bit of that onto my eyelids as well just to help to cancel out any discoloration. When it comes to powdering, I like to do a couple of different steps, mainly because I have got uh, combination skin. So the first thing I like to do is kind of bake with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Cameo. I wouldn't say that I technically bake with this, I just kind of like to use my Beauty Blender with the powder to help set and kind of pack on the powder. I do wipe a little bit of it off at the end, but I don't use as much powder as some other people do. I'm just popping a little bit of the powder into the lid and I use my beauty blender for this. So I just like to take this under the eyes, uh, around my nose, laugh lines, chin, anywhere that I highlighted pretty much. After that, I then like to go in with a powder that's going to give a little bit more coverage again, but also just make sure that any of my rosacea, any of my redness and blemishes or around my nose, anything like that is completely gone. I'm going to be using the NARS Luminous Powder Foundation. I love this stuff and I just like to take that on a nice fluffy powder brush. So I just like to take that in circular motions all around my face pretty much. And this is in the shade Siberia by the way. Now that I've done that, I'm going to set my face with another powder. This is probably one of my favorite steps in my foundation routine, uh, just because it gives you that really airbrushed sort of look. Now, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. This is honestly magic in a powder. It is beautiful. So it has light reflecting particles in it which help to really diffuse all the light in the most flattering way. And I love to just douse myself in this. Now, I use a different brush. I use the uh, Bare Minerals Seamless Shaping and Finish Brush and I love this. It's got a kind of subtle tapered sort of finish to it so I love that you can get right around the eyes around the nose and you can just pick up a lot of product but it helps to distribute it really nice and evenly as well and then the final step I do go back in with my MAC fix plus I just spray this all over my face to really settle all the powders and kind of make them fuse all into one with my face and my Skin. So I'm just going to quickly finish off my makeup and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I just finished doing the rest of my makeup so I didn't look like a complete fool uh, finishing the video. But I wanted to thank you so much for watching my full coverage foundation for pale and fair skin. Be sure to give it a double thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. I will leave a list of products that I use down below in the description bar. But without further ado, thank you so much and I will see you in the very new future. Thanks guys. Bye.